Hey everybody, welcome back to Accounting for Cycling. My name is Mike, and today we are going over the Acer Aspire 3 15.6 inch uh, IPS touchscreen laptop with an AMD Ryzen 5 7520U. Also with eight gigs of DDR5 RAM and a 512 gigabyte NVMe SSD. Uh, claimed to be in steam blue. So we are going to unbox it. Um, I will then test it out, see how it works. Uh, this is primarily focused as an ultrabook for uh, students, people who work from home who basically just need something for web browsing, word processing, uh, spreadsheets, nothing too extreme for spreadsheets. Um, but just kind of a good all arounder. And uh, so this is not a sponsored video, but I did receive this as a member of Best Buy's Tech Insider program. And as a member of this invitation only program, I am provided with products for the purpose of writing honest, unbiased reviews. Uh, so I did not purchase this product. All right, so, and it did ship direct from Acer, so. See what all comes inside. And the box it shipped in does have the specs on the side. So it's a good sign that this is what it comes with. And it looks like right here on top, it's always a good sign too to see uh, cardboard recyclable packaging. Easily broken down so you can recycle it at home and be reused and turned into really anything that computer packaging is used for in its second life. All right, so let's open up this little laptop sleeve. This is nice. Um, yeah front pocket here just kind of a real basic sleeve uh, but at least you know you have something oh well yeah, probably about a quarter inch of padding and it's a nice soft touch interior the outside's kind of a denim-y feel and it's branded with acer uh, so the nice thing with that is you have something to put the computer in right off the bat still would highly recommend getting some form of uh, laptop backpack pretty much just Yep. anything at all to um, here we go we've got more specs down the side here uh, pretty much anything that'll offer a little bit more protection plus uh, oh, shoot <laughs> I know some college courses still basically require you to get the textbook and not just use the online version I'm a huge proponent of the online version, not only for the environmental benefits, uh, but also to my over 30 year old back. So, first, pump open the side compartment here, and we've just got the charging cable and you put that in the front pocket of the included carrying case and this is the wall side of the adapter uh, three prong us um, as that's where I am uh, if you have a question ask Acer look at that got a nice 800 number um, both English and Spanish here is the computer itself envelope there, quick start guide, and some FCC regulatory things. Alrighty, now that the box is out of the way, we've got the kind of paper soft padding here, and here it is. 
So, yeah, that's a nice color. Uh, steam blue. Here it is. Get it kind of in a few different lights here. Spire written across the top. And uh, get some little rubber bits here. That's, I like to see that on, on thin and lights. Good ample amount of cooling uh, openings. And so with the vents here, you can even see the copper heat pipe on the inside. And after doing a little bit of testing with it, I'll, uh, I'll crack it open. We'll see if we can, what we can upgrade, if we can upgrade anything. Uh, but at first, let's go over this side IO. So you have the standard wall outlet that it comes in the box with. You have a fully functional USB-C with power delivery. Uh, so that's really nice. You can use it for display port, USB 3.0. That's a good question. Hmm. All right, we might have to test what kind of USB it has on here. I'm not seeing it on the specs page. Uh, but so it's claimed at 3.92 pounds, 0.74 inches, uh, so pretty thin, uh, but still has a full-size USB-A, full-size HDMI port, and it's, it's still nice to see those uh, just for good connectivity, um, especially if you're using this in school or around a home office, which is kind of its intended purpose is to be that kind of all-in-one on-the-go machine. Um, especially Acer claims up to 11 hours of battery life. Uh, so, you know, we'll see how that works. Plus the uh, Wi-Fi 6 connectivity and Bluetooth really helps too. And you have a second USB-A port here, a microphone headphone headset jack. Uh, you even still have a charging indicator light and an activity light, which is nice. Plus the trusty Kensington lock. So... With this being a 15.6 inch unit too, let's pop it open. And as an accountant, this is nice to see. I've got a full 10 key number pad on the side here. Uh, it does shift the keyboard layout over a little bit. Um, it's got a nice tactile click to it. A um, little bit of a stickier trackpad at first. With these, I found too, that after you get a little bit of use in them, um, finger grease is what I've heard it referred to. It starts to slide a little bit easier. These are nice and quiet, decent movement to them. A uh, lot of deck flex. So. You can see it kind of move through the whole thing here. And then a kind of semi-gloss screen. Hmm. Not what I'd expect for, yeah, USB 3.2 uh, full functionality on the side here, uh, which is nice because you can leave the charging brick at home. Uh, but yeah, with the DDR5 RAM and then also the 512 gigabytes of internal SSD storage uh, should be pretty speedy. And the little feet on the back of the screen here are to actually lift the entire device up off the bottom so you get more airflow. So, let's so, see if it even turns on. There's a good chance it needs to be charged first before it'll work, but all right. And it looks like that's where that ends. All right, and yeah, right here we've got the quick setup guide. Um, just basically shows you step one. Usar la computadora. Um, uh, Grace. Use the notebook for the first time. Make sure to plug in and then hit power. Yeah. 
And then it just tells you to hook up the internet because that is required to get set up with Windows 11, which this ships with. And let's see what's in here. International Warranty Traveler's Passport. I feel like we could have written that on the side and not had to crack it open. All right. Anyhow, thank you so much for watching today. Um, I will have <clears throat> I will have uh, my affiliate links down below. Uh, I'll try and link this exact model here. Um, I'll also put the link to Best Buy's website. Uh, my affiliate links, I do earn a small commission off of those if you use them. It just goes back to uh, different equipment, different exciting things that we can try out on the channel here. Um, but anyways, this has been the Acer Aspire 3 with the AMD Ryzen 5 7520U, 8 gigs of DDR5 RAM and a 512 gigabyte SSD. Uh, in steam blue and boy is it but so if you like this video hit like down below um, otherwise if you're not subscribed already uh, absolutely hit subscribe down below keeps you update with all new videos and content coming through uh, but thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day